Armed with her kin, the only phone with the loop, she gets priority updates from the people and things she cares about. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 failed technologies of the 2000s. Yo Yo Ma's playing, and this is great. For this list, we'll be looking at emerging technologies and products that crashed and burned in the early 21st century. Do you wish any of these had succeeded? Tell us in the comments. Number 10. 3D television. We're excited that we have an opportunity to be the company that truly gets 3D right. There was a time when 3D entertainment was restricted to cheesy special effects augmented by red and blue paper glasses. As stereoscopic technology emerged, a far better 3D movie experience also arrived. With that came attempts to bring that experience into the home. Unfortunately, it was a perfect storm for a massive fail. It started with a lack of cohesion amongst TV manufacturers when it came to home-based technology. Smart is turning 2D to 3D. Glasses were not always compatible with every 3D TV, and when they did work, it was not at all the same as being in a theater. From there, the sheer cost of it all pushed 3D television off the proverbial cliff. Number 9. Niche Social Networks the whole point of today's social media is that they appeal to a broad audience. What a user consumes from a given platform varies, but social media networks thrive on catering to just about every interest. Cool photos and uh, post a comment. The 2000s gave birth to some unique social networks that tried to go niche instead, such as Ping, Daily Booth, Friend Feed, and many others. I can make a comment, or just let someone know that I liked what they shared. As unique as they may have been, the same ideals that birthed them were also their undoing. While already dealing with a smaller user base, they simply couldn't compete with those who would become the big fish. Someone actually asked me where I got it, so I sent her a link. Number 8. Windows Me Microsoft Windows 95 may have changed desktop computing forever, but it was Windows 98 that really impressed their user base. A massive upgrade for hardware compatibility, it was Microsoft's first real OS to embrace the internet. So it's no surprise they wanted its successor to be even more impressive. Unfortunately, Windows Me, or Millennium Edition, was a colossal failure that was swiftly replaced by Windows XP a year later in 2001. XP lasted for many years as the replacement for Windows 98, but it seemed the company hadn't learned from its mistakes, because the entire cycle was repeated when the maligned Windows Vista was released. Number 7. Rapid blood tests. Every person should have the ability to get that type of test. Organ transplants, antibiotics, and even vaccinations have shown how much medical technology has evolved over the years. Each time a new breakthrough is made, it opens up the door to countless new possibilities. With so many diagnoses dependent on accurate blood readings, there were attempts to try and hasten the testing process. Being able to get accurate results much faster would have pushed diagnostic technology into a new generation. Alas, it was not meant to be. The results need to be precise and accurate, and that's where the story of Theranos starts to crumble. The biggest player in this space, Theranos, went out of business when they couldn't deliver on what they'd promised. This later resulted in a highly public trial and conviction of their CEO, Elizabeth Holmes. The disgraced Theranos founder and CEO found guilty on four of 11 counts in her landmark Silicon Valley fraud case. Number six, various optical disc formats. In the 1990s, CDs replaced tape cassettes, but piracy concerns led to the development of a new kind of optical disc called Dataplay, released to consumers in 2002. It featured a digital rights management system that won its support from the recorded music industry. However, they didn't catch on and fizzled out. A similar story befell HD DVDs. In the late 90s, DVDs began replacing VHS for movies and television. HD DVDs were developed by Toshiba to be the next big thing. Welcome to HD DVD. Instead, Blu-ray came out on top, and HD DVDs were soon forgotten. In more recent years, streaming services have largely replaced CDs anyway. Play something. Number 5. Miniature Netbooks Remember netbooks? These were essentially scaled-down smaller versions of a laptop. In the 2000s, several companies experimented with the idea of ultra-mobile PCs. You press it once, and the product comes on. You press it again, the product goes off. Remember, this was before smartphones, so many organizations were trying to find a way to make computing more mobile. Devices like the Palm Folio, Sony Vios UX, and even Samsung Q1 tried to claim this space in the market. Its battery life, though, is a rather pitiful two and a half hours. Their attempts were undermined the moment the iPad hit the world. 
Both Apple and Android's devices would supersede the mini PC, making it a doomed technology. Number four, smart glasses. Even before Google Glass came and went, other attempts were made to give us high-tech glasses. The user can have the 100% range of view while watching a 3.8-inch screen located 50 centimeters ahead. How about a wearable DVD player? Or maybe you'd like a pair of shades that help you resemble a Borg from Star Trek? A uh, very close proximity, so it's the same as looking at a monitor on your desktop. Whether it was trying to put a computer on your face or simply to provide a means of consuming media, attempts at developing smart glasses have failed to catch on. Clunky designs, terrible interfaces, and the worst kind of fashion fails have doomed this trend, at least so far. Tap on a photo to share it and choose one of your friends. Number three, segways. When the Segway was introduced in 2001, some thought it would usher in a new era of personal transportation technology. Thanks for joining us for this webinar to launch our new product, the Segway PT SE. We'd replaced the horse and buggy with cars a century ago, and now it was time for another revolution. Dean Kamen's concept did get people interested in new ways of moving, but the technology of the time never took off. Instead, we found companies like Segway failing to appeal to the mass market and barely surviving in niche corners. It, however, wasn't a complete failure. The interest in personal transporters did eventually inspire the likes of e-scooters and one-wheels. He's on, and he's looking fast. Number two the original social media networks. Now, anyone remember Bebo? It was a social networking site that became big or biggish shortly before Facebook then took the world by storm. Social media is now deeply intertwined with our lives, but it wasn't always so. The 2000s saw the internet become more and more of a mainstay in people's lives. Now able to connect across the globe easily, many attempts were made to engage users in online communities. This gave birth to the likes of MySpace, Friendster, and similar websites all trying to do the same thing. They did manage to achieve some success, but ultimately it was Facebook that took over, making its forerunners obsolete. Others have tried to compete, but few have stood the test of time. So here's a place that suits your style, a place where you can express yourself. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, app-specific hardware. The iPhone didn't come out until 2006, and apps weren't really a thing until 2008. That meant that applications like Twitter or other online services were typically only available from a computer. That didn't, however, stop some companies from trying to launch app-specific hardware devices. Ever heard of a Twitter peak? Or how about Microsoft Kin? Kendra knew about it right away. Both were attempts to make mobile devices for specific apps or certain types of apps only. This type of hardware was essentially dead on arrival as the birth of the smartphone supplanted everything that had come before it. One of the biggest downsides to the Twitter peak is that you can't see the full 140 character message. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.